Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much and make sure you subscribe and thank you for everybody who's been supporting my channel. We are so, you know, the family is growing. So make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Make sure you subscribe and yeah, and you know, you will be part of the best reaction channel there is. Okay, so listen, today we're going to react to what am I is uh, video, you know, they lied to you about Somalia Mogadishu. So he uploaded it yesterday. And I was like, oh, this is the best time to, to react and to see what he has to say about Somalia. And I think we're in for some surprises. So let's get straight into this video. Yo, that's my... What the Maya? I am, I am Maya. That's my <laughs> sister's best friend. Though. I... Okay, so she's pretty. She's so beautiful. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, my sister, yep. she should give me a number. She said... But what for? <laughs> you have a girl. No, no, no. No, no. I hope you said no. No, no. Ah, what? good. Period. Because you have a girlfriend and you don't do boyfriends of girlfriends. Period. <laughs> 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 Let me know in the comment section below, would you date your sister's or your brother's best friend? You know, does it make sense? Yeah, would you date your brother's or your sister's best friend? Personally, I think it would cause too much drama. You know, some people do, but I feel like when you break up, then it, it becomes a little bit weird, you know, between, um, you know, with your best friend. So I wouldn't personally. Let me know in the comment below. <laughs> Well, I can't be in Ghana. This is my country. We have sucked you. We don't need you here. Uh, you see, but yeah, but east or west home is best. If you're from Ghana, you always go back. If you're from Kenya, you always go back. If you're from Nigeria, you always go back. So east or west home is always the best. Africa to the world, but Ghana is still home. Right. <laughs> but I, but I, I'm living... Yo, guys, let me tell you, I love the... I love how energetic, how hype um Ghanaians are you know i saw a recent video with uh with um african traveler and uh stella shenali and and she's so hype as well they're very confident i love i love the energy from Ghanaians, and i feel like people from west africa are very hype energetic you know uh and east africa we're like more chill you know we're just very chill okay so yeah i i love the energy no, I don't want to US. I always want to travel. Africa, going to, right? Right. Africa. I'm going to South Sudan and Somalia. You know Somalia? No, I swear. <laughs> ah, you didn't get any place to go than that place. Ah, why? I'm going to Somalia. For what? What are you saying? Hey, where are no. you? I said I'm going to Somalia tomorrow. Which side are you? Yeah, but you see, it's a thing. Like, guys, when you hear Somali, you're like, oh, my gosh. You think about terrorism. You think about kidnappings, pirates. You think about all those, like, negative things that we get to see on the on the mainstream media. So I, I understand why, you know, there is this... um. People are very cautious about going to Somalia, for instance. And it was the same thing with South Sudan. It's the same. So, yeah. You are not reading. About what? Piracy. You are not reading. To all my fans out there, I know you love me, but you know what? I just have to do this just to prove to you guys that there are no pirates in Somalia. Right. Pray I come back. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so what am I is out here risking his life for us? Damn. Jeez. Kidnapping, you are not reading. Masa, when you're serious. They are even kidnapping kings. You, you, who died and made you a demigod? <laughs> <laughs> You're so goofy, uh, but you know he's just out here risking his life, you know, just to prove that he's, you know, he's driving in the dark and he's outside and nobody's going to kidnap him yet. Okay, you never know, but I feel, I mean, it's dangerous everywhere in the world. So let's stop like stig this stigma about Africa being dangerous, about in this particular case Somalia being dangerous. You know, it's. It's just everywhere else. You just have to be careful everywhere you go. So it's not like, you know, so let's stop this the stigma around 
uh, Africa being dangerous and just don't go there or don't go get out at night and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Um, and we're still riding in the dark, man. <laughs> in Mogadishu. So, as you can see, in the dark, Great. no one is coming see. to kidnap. We can't see you, but. No, no one. Absolutely no one. It's crazy. I must admit, I love the, the format, you know, the way he's just like, um, the editing is on point. I love the format, you know, just, I love it. What am I? I hope you watch this video and just to tell, let you know, I really like this new format. Yeah, I'll take you to it, but you know what? I'm not going to listen to you because I'm on a journey to change the narratives of Africa. Right. So I'm definitely going to Somalia. Like hey. <laughs> I'm good, man. How about you? Welcome to Indonesia, Thank you. How are you feeling so far? I mean, feeling great, man. So far, right? No, <laughs> <laughs> say that again. Say what that. did you say? What so did you say? I mean, feeling great, man. No, bombs, right? no oh, he said no bombs, right? Yeah, tell him, brother. Tell him no bombs, right? <laughs> <laughs> say that again. Say that again. No what? No explosions, no. <laughs> <laughs> about dodging bullets i mean guys let's but i'm very happy that what am i you get to show the world that it's nothing to do with what we see okay so it's really perfect there's no dodging bu bullets and being in danger you know 24 7 no <laughs> yo i mean i would like to you guys man uh, i don't know if i'm really sure of what i'm doing it's 7.55 exactly here in Hargesia. Um, mm. okay. We are heading to Mogadishu, man. Like, literally, I'm going to stay in Mogadishu for wow. two days. Wow. Extremely, like, I would like, extremely right. scared because anyone that I've been asking about Mogadishu, they don't really say anything good, man. So, this is yeah. a matter of taking a risk, man. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a Djibouti from here to um, Hargesia. Where is it? You go this way. This way, eh? Yeah. I think Stephen is already scared, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> Hi, Stephen. So that is what Demaya's editor, and he's very shy. I, that's a vibe I get from him. How do you feel, man? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yesterday he sent me like um, a picture of uh, what do you call it? Like. Uh, oh, oh, hi. Yeah, See, yeah. how are you doing? Good. Man. Man. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I got like. Awesome. Oh, wow. And he's welcomed so well there at the airport, and people at the airport get to know him. I wonder if he got like. I know he talked about it on Instagram that, that he got some challenges, and, you know, they wouldn't like let him in, uh, and he had to like negotiate, and he had to show that he was there to show the positive side of the country so it was a big challenge i hope he will talk about it you know subscribers everywhere man so this is the airline hey Djibouti. and it's so good man yeah that's hey Djibouti, man mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> awesome hey president wardemeyer what this guy is going places and he just shows that you don't have to be in politics to change the face of Africa. And I think he should be like a great example to African leaders that it just takes one person. You can just imagine the change he has brought to Africa and making people in the diaspora want to come back, making, you know, uh, experts, more and more experts traveling to Africa because they want to, you know, so it's fantastic. We are really doing this, and you just have to come with us, man. Right. Let's go. I'm ready. Wow. <laughs> Did you see how blue that sky is? Did you see that? Wow. <laughs> Just like the Somalian flag, that blue is just beautiful. Oh, 
yeah, you know, I I didn't know that there was Somaliland, which is part of Ethiopia, right? And you have Somalia. That's crazy. I had no idea whatsoever. And I'm telling you, I'm learning so much. And that's all thanks to you, Wodemeyer, for, you know, for, you know, for making us travel and educating us, you know. So I'm really <clears throat> very, very happy about um, this thing because I've, it's for me, it's education. We're learning and I love it. So did you know? Let me know in the comments below. Did you know if there was Somaliland and Somalia? The editing is on point. Wow. Touching down in Mogadishu is super crazy, man. It felt like we were touching down inside the Indian Ocean, man. I'm like, yo, can we see land already? <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Welcome to the country, the longest coastal line in the entire world. Jeez. Yeah, London. Nice to meet you. I hope I have a good time in here. Yeah, but um, so far so good. Djibouti airline takeoff cruising landing was perfectly smooth. So I recommend whenever you travel within the Somali region, definitely try a Djibouti. Somalia. You are in the city, the capital city of Somalia, Mogadishu. We are a nation that is located on the Horn of Africa, the eastern side. We Look at the sky. It's crazy. The skyline is beautiful. We are neighboring by Kenya, Ethiopia, mm. Eritrea, Yemen. We are a country with history, with people, with heroes, and with young people like us who are here to show you how beautiful our country is. Right now, we are currently at the Sayyid area. The monument you see behind me is called Sayyid Muhammad Abdul Hassan. Okay. He was the hero of the Somali people. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Did you know about this? Because I didn't. And honestly, guys, what really pushed me to react to this video was yesterday. Well, you know, when what am I posted? Because before I react to a video, I like, well, you know, just reading the comments. And I read a comment from Maxamed Garan. And this is what he said. He said, so though we have gone through some hard times and though we have experienced some difficulties, but that will not define us. So this is our condition, but it is not our conclusion. Listen, people, this comment just made me realize that I have to react to this video, you know, because you might undergo things in life, but it's not your final destination. And you should not give up. And I'm so grateful that Somalia did not give up. And now they're reconstructing Somalia. It has become, you know, what it is today. Thanks to all those people who died for Somalia, fighting for Somalia's independence. And, you know, and so this, um, this monument right here is just here as well to commemorate and to, you know, to acknowledge the work that was done by this person. So, yeah, it's fantastic. I love that quote, you know, by Maxamed Garane, and thank you so much for that. He was a nationalist. He was the hero. He brought the Somali country together. He was the one that uh, fought with the British. He was the, not only was he a hero, he was a poet. Imagine fighting with the Sayyid. Okay, so if he was a poet, then I guess he used to pass messages through his poetry and uh, empowering people. And he's using his poetry to get the people together, oh. to tell them, hey, we are a nation. Oh, that's beautiful. Who is Muslim, who are one, who share the same tribe and the same religion and right. the same food. He was not only a hero for, to the Somali people, he was a hero to Africans. <laughs> I love this image because Wodemeyer is in a way a hero to Africans because he's really changing the face of Africa. So the, the fact that they place this image right there, I think it's symbolic 
and it really corresponds absolutely to what what Emma is doing right now for the African continent. So good job. <laughs> that the Somalian anthem? Let me know in the comments below and look at the flag. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so is what am I singing or is he rumbling? Is he singing or around? I don't know. I don't know if he know. Does he know the the Somalian national anthem? If it is, because I believe it is, because they're holding the flags and you know the color is blue and and the white star and it's a very beautiful you know flag. I love it. <laughs> Long live Somalia! <laughs> You can see, um, you know, in the background on on the far left, you can see the Indian Ocean because yes, Somalia is <clears throat> as much as all the East African countries are bordered by the, um, you know, the the Indian Ocean, and it's so beautiful. Look at that! Wow. <clears throat> Wow, look at that. They've got white sand as well because in the in the coastal region of Kenya we the 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 beach the sand is white. So it looks like it's white as well, which would make sense because it's the Indian Ocean. And look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look how clean it is. Wow. Would you ever think, did you ever think Somalia was this beautiful? I basically had to face my fear and come to Mogadishu. I heard a lot about Mogadishu. I know nobody even knows that I'm here because if I should tell anybody that I'm going to Mogadishu, they'll be telling me that why would you do this? Is it even worth it to risk your life to go to a place like that? But hey, look at me right here, walking in the street of Mogadishu with no bodyguards or whatsoever. I mean, I feel like it's, an, it's just like any other African country. So I'm here to explore. So you know what? Right. Come with me. Let's have fun. Enjoy Mogadishu just like any other city in the world. It's your favorite village boy. And I'm here in Somalia, Mogadishu. And all I can tell you guys is that Kosodo Somalia. <laughs> Listen, guys, if you watch this section um, and there is no music, don't worry about it. It would mean that the song is copyrighted and I have to remove it. OK, so let's see. I don't know. We'll see, because most videos you have copyright videos, uh, music. And so I have to remove the section. But if you see me dancing, it's OK. It's normal dancing with no music. It will happen. I think it will happen. So don't judge me. OK. <laughs> And just like, um, is it in is it in Ghana or in Nigeria? Uh, you have the tuk tuks have are all of the same color, you know. So I can tell, uh, there's like a color code I would say for tuk tuks in Mogadishu as well. So that is like red, red and yellow stripe. Okay, red, brown, and a yellow stripe. It's really nice. I think it's a very good idea to harmonize, you know, <clears throat> all the all the tuk tuks. Let me tell you guys something that you don't know. You know. Do you 
smoke? What's that? I've been here for the past 48 hours, and I can tell you something. Do you all know the flag of Somalia? Oh, no, no, I don't think he's... Okay. I see. It looks... Uh, yeah, it looks like the... Um, I remember back in Kenya as a child, every time we would go shags, every time we would go to the, you know, to my, uh, to my countryside, then there was this tree that we used to break the branch, and we used to, and it was the same color. It looks like it. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you're from Somalia and if you know what that is. And then we used to just chew it. It was just for brushing the teeth, and we'd keep it like all day sometimes, or. Yeah, it was just a stick that we used to brush our teeth. So it looks like it. I don't think it's a, it's a cigarette because it's too long. But let me know in the comment section below if you're from Somalia, is it the stick that we use, you know, to brush our teeth or what is it? What is it? Thank you. Something that you don't know. You know, I've been here for the past 48 hours mm. and I can tell you something. Do you all know the flag of Somalia? Oh. With a white star and the blue behind right. the entire country looks exactly like their country flag so as you can see ocean is what blue and white even right. though some of you think that ocean is colorless but what i'm seeing <laughs> with my naked eyes is blue and white yeah do you i think well not colorless but you know there is the, it's scientific you know you have different colors sometimes it's turquoise sometimes it's uh, blue sometimes well it depends on all the other natural elements that we have, like the blue sky, the clear sky, and some plocktons and stuff like that deep in the ocean. So, I just look up here, look at the cool. sky. It's also blue and white. Right. So I just want to tell you that. Welcome to Somalia. <laughs> he's out here losing his voice as well. God, this guy is, he's a vibe. What am I is a whole vibe. Not in a million years, I would I would have imagined before this video that Somalia is this um, developed. Never, you know, Somalia in my head, you have like destruction everywhere. I'm sorry, but I think we are. I have been ignorant. Most of us have been ignorant about Somalia because of everything we've had before with the civil war. And I feel the mainstream media still wants people to believe that, and only that the country, you know, has changed and. It's still developing and you have so many opportunities in Somalia. So, yeah. So, thank you. Really. You all know that the people of Somalia are blessed with what? The sea, right? Mm -hmm. So, when I got here, I realized that fishing is one of the major occupations mm -hmm. in this country. As you can see, the young people from this country are actually mm -hmm. fishing right now. And right. So, what are the... Um, what's the main economical... Um, situation of Somalia is it sheep um shipping uh, fishing only or is there agriculture crop farming um what else so fishing crop farming and I would say because I think when you go into the interiors from what I saw the documentaries like livestock farming will be one one of the main economical situations um in Somalia so let me know in the comment section below is it fishing Crop, crop farming or livestock farming? I don't know. I don't know if um, I should go try it out, whether I'll be able to catch one fish for you all. <laughs> I want to carry this fish, man. I don't know if I'll be able to carry it. Can you carry it? Yeah. Yeah, that thing is huge. What? <laughs> it's wrong, man. <laughs> I was going to say you're going to make it fall because it's 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 slimy, it's slippery. So. Look at his goofy ass! Oh my gosh! You know what? I, I'm super excited to be here in Somali because I found one of my favorite meat oh, of all that's dried okay time so which means that ghana and somali have something in common you know what don't get me wrong but this thing right here 
It's my favorite meat of all time. If you've been watching my videos for so long, I keep on telling you that kako is my Kako, okay, what's that in English? Do you know what type of fish that is? Let me know in the comment section below. Please let me know. Kako in Ghana. Okay, I have no idea what fish it is. So let me know in the comment section below. Favorite. I mean, getting kako and fufu is like making my entire year, man. And I'm seeing this in Somali. That's amazing, man. I would say that this place is actually home for me because I found my favorite dish. <laughs> Okay, I thought so too because it's it's the ocean, the, the Indian Ocean, uh, just like in Kenya. It's like being in Somalia, it's just like being in any other African country. Right. Enjoy yourself at the beach, and this is what I'm doing. Whoa, <laughs> it's a beautiful country, man, and I'm so glad that I came, bro. Right. I'm so glad that I came. I just want to tell you that welcome to the longest coastal line in Africa. <laughs> Oh, the longest coastal line in Africa? Whoa, that's really nice. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't know that. Okay. One, two, three, go. There you go. to get permission to get into the country and I, I believe you had to prove that you had good intentions at heart that you were not there to to spoil the image of the country which I understand because I mean enough is enough you have all these journalists coming uh, from outside and then coming just to show the negative side of Somalia and Africa as a whole so um, I guess you had to show that you know the white flag like hey I'm here to promote the country and also just to you know, show the, the brighter side of Somalia. So, okay, good. See, to come to the country, just to come and see what the entire media is talking about is so true. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to tell you that Somalia is the safest country in the world. Mm -hmm. If I should tell you that, which means I'll be lying to you. But I'm telling you that Somali is just like any other country right. in Africa that I've ever visited. Right. I mean, coming in here, I see similarities between Mogadishu and Dakar of Senegal. I mean, maybe some part of Ghana looks like this. So my brothers yeah. and sisters, give Somali a chance. Go live your life. Come and explore. And you know what? What mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, be positive. <laughs> 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 yeah, that is so true. Okay, well, let's let's give uh, all these African countries a second chance, and I guess we have so much to you know to get from them and to explore from them. is in the comment section below so we have a confirmation it's not cigarette but what what is it hi man we gonna fly bro oh my goodness are we really doing this <laughs> yes! i get a fan of this man i'm yes. a fan of water bro <laughs> you yeah. told me you're a fan of uh, me beach. a yes. beach yeah yes. walking along the beach <laughs> <laughs> not taking a boat huh huh I'm not taking the boat. Hi to your friends, man. Not 
I mean, then where, where are the life jackets? You know, you should wear a life jacket when you're not comfortable. I remember when I, uh, when I go deep into sea, when I'm on vacation, I always have my life jacket on because I'm not very comfortable in water, especially when I don't touch ground. I don't like that at all. And by the way, I'm going to have some swimming lessons because it's, no, it's, it's, a, I think there are two things in life that are life-saving is speaking English and learning how to swim and knowing how to swim. Those are the, like the two most important things because without English, everywhere around the world, you know, companies are asking for an English speaking person before the skills and then swimming. You never know. You can just save yourself or save somebody, um, you know, when you know how to swim. So I understand you, what am I? Because personally, you're too bold enough not to have like a life jacket on because I would wear it. I have to have my life jacket on when I'm going deep into sea. Now, when I get back to the shores, I say hi. <laughs> my name is Afri, man. I'm trying to catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank He wants to go back already, like he's not comfortable at all. It's like, oh, what am I doing here? You know, he's out of his comfort zone, but it's a nice thing because there's always like, you know, first time to everything, so. <laughs> What does it mean? Let me know in the comment section below what did he say in Somalia. Setahin? Yes. Setahi. Oh. Okay, what does it mean? It's Kawarama. Okay. Yes. Okay. But right now, you don't know where I'm going, yeah? I need to ask him, Hagete Isa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Check this out, man. Check this out. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow. about the longest coastal line in Africa and I never knew a day would come I will actually be walking along the longest coastal line in Africa I mean this is what makes me happy to go out there and go live my life yeah. you know what I've, I've been hearing a lot about Somali I mean this is a country that I know I've got a lot of fans in here they keep on calling me names Maya you've been to Kenya Ethiopia Uganda mm -hmm. but you don't want to come to Somalia because you're racist they are discriminating against us and I'm like you know what it's not the perfect time but I know for sure that the right time will come a day will come that I'll step my foot here right and now you're there so period so, I mean it's it, it's everything that counts you know you're there in Mogadishu Somalia and today's the day the day has come right. you know, I, I, I actually faced a lot of challenges at the airport but at the end of the day mm. I came here for the people Yes, and I feel like the second time you go back, it will be much easier for you. You know, you're a stranger uh, to a country which has been closed for so many years and now they're opening up and they want to make sure that anybody who's coming in has got good intentions for the country. And so, yeah, so it makes sense that, you know, they're a bit reluctant. But I feel that if you go back and I think uh, you probably didn't because you said 48 hours and it seems like you're not going to stay much longer. I think you will probably regret staying just such a short time and then you will most definitely go back so i feel it's it's a good beginning and a good first impression and so welcome back to somalia i feel you will be welcomed um you know it will be much better for the second time and i know the immigration doesn't represent the people so after nine hours i made it to mogadishu mm -hmm. and look at me right here walking along the longest coastal line in africa man such a beautiful place man yeah. i feel like i made history you know you know <laughs> i made history so i'm gonna tell you out there you know what believe in yourself yeah. go out there and go make history i love you all and i'm gonna see you 
in the next one. Yes. So yeah, that's so true. It's a big accomplishment because you've you had to undergo obstacles and for you to enjoy the the beautiful uh, coastline, the longest coastline in the world. And so yeah, was it in Africa or in the world? But yeah, whatever the case. But I feel that it's a big accomplishment and you've made it. And I'm sure you will most definitely go back. And yeah, um, it's it's fantastic. So thank you so much for sharing. Yo, it's my last day here, and I just oh. want to say something. I am so glad that I came to Mogadishu, despite all the challenges that I faced. I was able to meet the people, you know. I mean, the people make right. the country, right? Mm. And the people have shown me nothing but pure love, man. I I feel so bad that I listened to what the media was saying. I had to book two, three days, of which I've regretted for booking Oh, a short time. You see, I should have actually booked a longer time right. to have more time in Mogadishu. So yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna come back. <laughs> I think Stephen is is happy to go to leave the country. <laughs> for sure. Okay. Thanks to Mokatar for making this whole movement in Mogadishu a good one, and a big shout out to the lady who actually made this trip possible yeah i say like the person who really convinced me real hard oh, was Marianne. good job good job you did a great job and um yeah i think it was uh, it was a perfect timing for everything to fall into place the way it did despite the challenges but i guess those are normal things that we go through in life too so we can appreciate more you know uh stuff in in this particular case somalia yeah, so it's you. been a pleasure uh having you here uh at the end of the I just want to tell you, this is your home. You're not a stranger. This is Africa. Regardless of the situation, regardless right. of everything we went through, I went through it with you. Uh, and that's that's all I want to say. I yeah. Think. Oh my goodness. I love I love the how outspoken she is. I love the her vibe. You're so beautiful and. And thank you so much for helping us discover Somalia, um, especially the, the coastline, because I think there's more to Somalia than just um, just going to the beach. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for helping Wodemeyer um, help us to learn and to educate us, you know, in turn. And we hope to see you again. And I hope the, the, um, the people have, uh, will enjoy the episode that we have from Somalia. So she's a YouTuber. You all should check out the description box. Go check her okay. out. Subscribe to her YouTube channel and support her. Mokata is also a YouTuber. The yep. link will be in the description. Um, even though he has been absent for decades, and I hope he comes back again. It's your favorite village boy right here. And big shout out to Steven. Even though he was scared, but um, he made it. I mean, the first time, the last day we had to come, he's like, Maya, are you sure we're doing this? And yeah, we did it. And um, we'll see you all. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I mean, the police are even nice, man. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. I sure did. This was, uh, this was fantastic, honestly. It was really nice to see. You know that Somalia is a place that you can go on vacation with your family and, you know, we need to we need to show the brighter side of Africa and stop just, you know, showing, you know, creating stigma around Africa. So thank you so much for watching. If you're from Somalia, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of them okay so help a girl grow the channel and the family is growing bigger so thank you so much guys and until next time bye